So normally when you see me in this particular uh, garb, that means it's been some slightly breaking news coming in. And the Atlanta Falcons have made a kind of a puzzling move. I, I don't think a lot of it might be unexpected, but they put five players on injured reserve to include uh, Marlon Davidson, uh, Jalen Mayfield, and Deion Jones. So it, it starts to make you wonder because the big deal was last week, Deion Jones actually had his first time at practice and Arthur Smith made it clear that he was coming back to try to compete and he had to catch up on the other things they had already installed in the defense. He made it clear. So it wasn't like a Dion is healthy. He's going to come right back in. And Dion came in, played some special teams. He hadn't done that since his rookie year. And I guess he still hurt. <laughs> I can look at this in two ways. I, lo I look at the injured reserve designation, which he would be available after week five. I look at this as baiting some time to see if there's going to be anyone interested in taking on Deion, San Deion Sanders, Deion Jones's contract. And I think that's just from the tea leaves I see, from the non-committal talk from Arthur Smith, uh, just continuing to say that they're going to be fluid as far as the roster is concerned. I think that's what we're saying as far as Deion Jones is concerned. Now, Marlon Davidson, the often injured Marlon Davidson, and, and it, it maybe it's no fault to his own. I mean, we can't blame the man if he is kind of injury prone or something like that. But I think Arthur Smith has kind of let it know, be known that, hey, the guys who are here, that's who's going to play. And he's used to some of these guys. They re-signed Abdullah Anderson, which is cool with me because I thought he shouldn't have been cut anyway, but great that he was actually signed to the roster. So that ought to pay dividends uh, very quickly. I, so it, it's, it's kind of a little bit of a mixed bag uh, for me. The Deion Jones situation, I'm not sure if you're a big Deion Jones being an Atlanta fan. I'm not sure you're going to like how this is going to end up because it's clear to me that I don't think he's part of their future plans here in the ATL. Look for me later on. I might be doing some uh, chill and grill on Saturday and we'll be able to talk to you guys back in Uncle Steve's Lounge. Appreciate you all joining us here. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends. We'll have more content coming into the year before we play those nasty ants in week one. Until then, y'all take care. This is your aunt. Holla at you later. Peace. Peace.